Hello students, in today's lecture we will see type 2 of particular integral under this differential equations. So here type 2 that is pi of the form either you may get uh, phi of x as sin of uh, angle that is sin of ax upon f of d square or cos of ax upon f of d square. If such cases are there, so we need to uh, how to get a pi that is very important. So here we can see that if if sin of ax upon f of d square which may be written as sin of ax divided by so this d square will be replaced by a square this a is nothing but coefficient of angle so sin of whatever angle will there that angle coefficient if x is there what is the coefficient of x that one sometimes you will get sin 2x sin 3x sin 5x so on so that will be replaced that is the value of a that value will be replaced be here so that a whatever a is there you have to square it so therefore where condition apply that condition sorry uh, it is minus times a square okay so the value will be so sine of ax so d square will be replaced by minus times a square remember here so replace replace d square by minus times a square not minus a whole square it is minus times a square where condition is that f of minus a square should not equal to what here 0 if f of a square equal to 0 if f of minus a square equal to 0 then again the procedure is what here we have to differentiate this with respect to d and then uh, we have to multiply x already we have done the same case in the uh, type 1 so therefore what happens here so sine of a x upon f of d square so you have to go for out here x into sine of a x only denominator you have to differentiate f dash of minus means in differentiation of this uh, f of d square we have to replace what here uh, it is minus times a square but condition apply that again so where condition is what here f dash of minus a square should not be equal to 0 if you again become to 0 so again if it is if if f of minus a square f dash of a square becomes 0 then then sine of a x divided by f of d square we have to go for double differentiation means we have to multiply one more x into sine of a x divided by it will be f double dash of minus times a square where condition apply that f double dash of minus a square should not be equal to zero so the process will continue so till you get what your value so this term becomes zero means value upon zero will become infinity which is invalid so that one you have to take care a similar case we need to apply for what here uh, cos this uh, cos a, a cos of uh, a x upon uh, d square so just i will write a uh, one uh, re result here so the results the result also holds also holds good for means same result uh, cos of a x divided by f of d square the same results will be applied for that also so this is whole goods for cos of ax upon f of d so means whatever we have seen for uh, sine so whatever the same result will hold good for what here cos of ax also so here one of the important note uh, i want to discuss that note is so note number one the result also good for holds good for the results also hold good for good for the function the functions like sine of ax plus b form 
So at that time, while replacing here d square is equal to minus uh, a square, we have to take the coefficient of a constant. You have to neglect it, or and also for same as for cos of a x plus b form also. So this is very important form. Then again, sometimes what happens here? And row number two, so function like functions like like sine of a x into cos of b x or we have sine of a x into sine of b x or cos of a x into cos b x so you know that sine a sine b cos uh, sin, uh, sine a cos b sine a sine b cos a cos b so to apply right hand side you may get get like that terms also so for that you need to go for sin of uh, a into cos b formula and here you have to go for sin a into sin b formula and for here we have to go for what here cos a into cos b formula then it will convert it to either of the cos or sin form then we have to prepare for the result here so means you have to see that so we have to for this how to what here how to be converted how to be converted so whatever is there so how to be converted into a sum of using basic trigonometric formula so i told so sin a so for this we have to plus sin a into cos b formula then we have to see that uh, sin a sin b formula cos a cos b formula uh, which will be converted to either cos of uh, uh, ax uh, uh, form or sin, sin of ax form so though, so that for that we can go for what here type 2 uh, results what uh, means uh, steps we need to get it uh, means uh, from that we can get a, a particular integrals so one sample example apple, uh, i will show here or else we'll go for a particular uh, uh, question only based on that uh, you can uh, see that so how the this uh, type 2 is going to be simplified here let's see the problems based on type 2 